An action-packed evening looms here on EA Sports. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski, ready to call the action. Moments away before they drop the puck on this one. A few things you're looking forward to? Always goaltending. Always so critical. You know special teams will play a big part in this contest as well. There's really nothing insignificant between these two teams. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. Puck is dropped and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. Fitzpatrick's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Hamilton's got it and they're on the attack. Takes the feed, takes a shot, makes the save. What a reaction with the blocker. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. The Tigers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. No deeps got the puck along the boards. Quebec's in transition. Slides the puck over. And there's the save. Mitchell's won the draw. Centering pass. Log jam in front. That's broken up. Tries to get it to Debrinkit. And now he tries to get it across to Jacobs. Receives the pass. Off target. No deeps. Got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone. Moving the puck along the side. Into the corner. Too much congestion in front. From the point, looks to make something happen. Moves close to the point. Here's a shot! Big time stop there! Hamilton's got a hold of it against the wall. Cold is carrying it ahead. Here's a chance! And he comes up with it! stick shot oh you can't miss that now somehow i got 408 james you don't get any if you don't hit the net get it on target man vibes got it in the offensive zone slides it back to the blue line jostling for the puck but still maintains possession looking to make something happen in the offensive zone moves it quickly over to five and player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. Houdon's called for tripping. He's off to the box. It's a tough penalty to take. You're trying to do the right thing. Unfortunately, you pull his feet out. You got to go to the penalty box. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Their first power play of the game. The game is scoreless, and now they'll start offensive zone face-off. Move the puck around, get it to the net, and try and impose your will on the other team. Quebec's got it from behind the net. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. And he's able to handle that one. Puck grabbed by Ward. Takes it across the blue line. Handles the puck at the point. Knocked away. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Here's an opportunity, and that one's stopped. 
Siemens plays it now. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Takes a shot. Scores! Putting the power in power play. Did just about everything right on that man advantage. They capitalized. They saw a quick opportunity here on the man advantage. They get out on the on-man break. They move the puck around nicely, and they capitalize. No deets on the board. They lead it 1-0. I can't believe this game's going to end 1-0. So that first goal gives you a head start into what I hope is a pretty offensive game. On the attack along the boards, denies him on the play. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Time of the goal, 10 minutes, 59 seconds. Stretch pass. Here's the chance. Gobbles the puck up there with a the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Jacobs gains the zone. And now it's over to Mitchell. And the defenders come up with the puck. And that goes off the iron and stays out. Hamilton's ability to get back in this game is going to rely partly on luck. They get a bad break there as the puck hits the post and stays out. Jackson's going off for hooking. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. Well, what a great opportunity for them here. Trailing by a goal, you got a chance to even it up, and you've got the man advantage. Quebec's gained possession along the boards and manages to clear the zone. Handles the pass from the right wing. That's a solid check on the play. Gets it out of his own end. Well, after that hit, he's slowly working his way to the bench. He is not feeling very good. And now he angles it across to Johnson. Carries it in. Moves it to Schultz. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Tigers will play it from the defensive zone. No deep. Scott the puck shorthanded. And manages to clear the zone. Hamilton's got the puck behind the net. Quick pass to McGinn. Into the offensive end now. Here's a shot. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. And now he moves it to five. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. The Tigers fail to capitalize on the power play. Well, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. Kulda's still trying to shake off the effects of this hit. He really took a thump there. Here in the later stages of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. He grabs the puck here at the point. Quebec's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Sends it over. Gets a glove on it to make the stop. Oh, he snaps the glove save off there. Excellent chance in the slot. Fox has won the draw here in the offensive zone. And he makes the save. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Takes it across the blue line. Moves the puck along the half wall. Mitchell's got it along the wing. Slides the puck across to Fox. Into the corner of the attacking area. Great little poke check by the goaltender there. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Forces the turnover. Quebec's looking to break out. Rister, where was he going? 
I'm not sure, but the goaltender doesn't even have to react as it misses by quite a ways. Easy peasy right there by Fitzpatrick. That's the horn, and 20 minutes is all said and done with here for period number one. We've got a one nothing game here after the first 20 minutes of play. And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. Second period set to get underway. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Tigers should look up and down their bench and realize how lucky they are. That was a brutal first period for them. They didn't handle the puck very well, but they're only losing by one. McKinn's going to play it against the half wall. Let's it go. Just wide of the net. Colomatis has it in the defensive end and tries to make a diagonal pass to Mitchell. Takes the pass. He scores! They didn't sit back after getting that first one. They pile a back-to-back -back goal on here. Wow, he powders that on the one-timer. Really good timing to wait for the puck and then hammer it home. Deeks now up by two in the second. They worked hard to push this lead from one to two. I like the way that they've been playing. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. With possession along the wall. Takes the feed. From the opposite point. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Directs it on over to Mitchell. Intercepts it at center. No deeks turn this game into a rip. Scores! On the rebound, he pops it. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. here for the face-off. What a performance by these guys tonight. They've been terrific. Dominated the game at both ends of the ice. The pace of the game is what they want, and they're comfortably in front. Grabs control of it at the point. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Along the half wall with the puck. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot! Oh, just wide of the net! It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Takes a nice feed up through the middle now. Moves it around along the half wall. Referee singling delayed penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. The good old-fashioned hook is sending him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box and gets called every time. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they've failed. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to wash that away, not let it affect the current power play. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Centered out in front! Big time stop! Fitzpatrick's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. Hamilton's got the puck along the boards. Schultz plays it into the offensive zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Schultz is slowed down with the hook, and the officials are calling for a delayed penalty. The call is hooking on the play. This is a penalty of bad positioning. You reach out to try and slow the guy down, 
You're gonna get called almost every time. Face off looming, and it's a five on three man advantage here. Any five on three will tell you if it's successful. They're aggressive, they move the puck, and they attack the net. They use their extra numbers around the crease, not up top. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, three nothing is where we sit. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Hamilton's got the puck along the wall. Comes up with the stop. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to McGinn. Handles it along the blue line. Blocked in traffic. Trying to escape the pressure. Ward's the victim of a hook penalty coming up. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. On the attack along the boards. Passes right to the front. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. A little four-on-four -four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. The last couple of years, we've seen different strategy four-on-four -four come into the game. What is apparent, when you get the puck, you keep it. You'll move it and hold it till the great chance opens up. That's intercepted. Penalty expires, and the PP unit gets set to go to work. Blocker save. Hamilton's got a hold of it against the wall. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Quebec's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come on the attack. Here's a rocket of a shot, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. That was a big hit. You've got to be willing to put your own body on the line to make a hit like that. No deeks dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Takes that pass back at the point. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection and manages to clear the zone. Quebec's gained possession along the boards. Up along the wing. Moves the puck along the half wall. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play. But I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. Quebec's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Looks to set up at the point now. He scores! They might as well keep that light on behind the goaltender. And again, that's four straight for them here. They have just totally taken over this game. That shot just overpowered him, I guess. He stopped most of it. It just trickled through and rolled into the net. Quebec's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost at will, in particular here in this second period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Hamilton's got it in their own zone. Through center along the wing. No deeps got control of it now from their own end. Over the line they come. Blistering shot! Oh, comes up with a stop. Quebec's got a hold of it along the wall. On the wraparound! 
Oh, James, that's close. I thought this was in. I thought the forward was going to be able to get to the post first, but he's not. That's a really strong save. No room right there. No Deeks had the better scoring opportunities, and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. With possession along the wall. Hamilton's got the puck along the boards. Sent into the offensive zone. Grabs the puck in the corner. Oh, that gets a piece of the stick. Quebec's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes it count. You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store. You want goals? You get into the net. The rebound's there. He puts it away. Hamilton's back to center ice. What's the message here? Because there's still a long way to go. I don't think anybody looks too far ahead. They just, you got one goal, try and get another, try and get yourself within shouting distance. Number nine, assisted by number three. And by number Along the half wall with the puck. The goal, 16 minutes, nine seconds. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Set it out in front, can't connect. Referee singling for a penalty. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Moves it around along the half wall. Here comes the sentence. Pretty cut and dry from up here, and the official saw it firsthand with hooking the call. It's a penalty of being in bad position, and I think when you impede a player like this, they should call the hooking penalty every time. The power play unit goes right back to work. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. Ah, uh -huh. nice block. Quick feed to McGinn. Stopped by the goaltender. He's not going to face many more high danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. No deep spin dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. The Tigers get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he gives it over to Mitchell. Centering pass, and a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. And manages to clear the zone. Oh, the glove save! Where'd that come from? Quebec's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. Stick save. Gets it out of his own end. Hamilton's got the puck along the wall. Carries it across the line. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Is dropped and we are back underway and manages to clear the zone and a great job by the shorthanded unit those last few moments as the penalty expires well as that penalized player comes out of the penalty box he can give a nod down to his penalty killing unit they did their job outstanding work and that'll do it for period number two 40 minutes in the books we've got a 4-1 game are you ready for your walk down memory lane then join us for our fantasy Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Quebec's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. Hamilton's got the puck in their own end. Pass right on the doorstep. Denies him in front. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Oh, what a chance, and he puts it wide of the net. Good delivery. He got rid of that in a hurry, but he ends up missing the net. Tough to complain about this call holding. As soon as you slip out of position, you've got two choices. Let him go or try and slow him down. He reached out, grabbed him, and gets called. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. If a power play struggles, another one doesn't often seem like a great opportunity for them. The guys are starting to stress. They don't enter well. It's really been a poor night for the power play. Makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. 4-1 is where we sit. A pretty one-sided affair. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Sends the pass over. Moves the puck. Deflected shot! Feeling the pressure, trying to clear. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Move to the middle. Handles the puck. Glides along the blue line. Oh, if there's going to be a regret in this one, that might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just miss the pass. The scoring chance goes away. Tokarski's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Quebec's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. McGinn's got the puck. Puts it on net from the point. Denies him. He got all of it. Mitchell's out of the box. Uh, another good penalty kill for them, James. They've done the job start to finish when they've been shorthanded. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Quebec's gained possession. Fox has got the puck in his own zone. Hamilton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Centered out in front. Here's a chance to set up now. On the attack along the boards. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Quebec's got a hold of it against the wall. Sends a pass over. Takes control of the puck. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in the scoring zone, and you don't even test the goalie. Dabrink it swooping in on the attack. Shot. Great glove save. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. And it's been a pretty one-sided affair to this point. It's 4-1. Musa quickly over to Mitchell. Chaps the puck away. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves the puck along the half wall. Good hit. Pass back to the point. With the blast, just higher than it. He's probably going to get a word from his forwards about, hey, you might want to keep that down. We're in here fighting for a position. We get knocked over. The puck goes right over my head. Pass across to Mitchell. Mitchell's got it on the offensive end. Well, the officials have tried to keep things in line, and yet another penalty call here. Tripping the call on the play. I don't necessarily think he's trying to trip him here, James, but he gets the stick into his feet. Down he goes. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. There's another power play for them, James. They've already scored on the power play tonight, so they must have some pretty good 
feel for it. They also have to be aware the penalty killers will adjust. They will have to, too. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. Carries it in. Can't hang on after that hit. Moves the puck down low. Nice pass. Back to the blue line. With some momentum driving towards the net, the Tigers gain possession along the wall. Gets it out of his own end. No deeks got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Colomatis moves it ahead. Slides the puck over. Snaps it on net. Too much traffic in the lane. And manages to clear the zone. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up a shorthanded goal. Maybe that sparks the other team a little bit. Quebec's ready to go on the attack. Hammers one at the net. Denies him on the slobber. Here in the back half of this period, and we've got a 4-1 hockey game. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. Let's see what the official says here. I know he doesn't like the call on this one. Nobody does, but I think he has a case here, right? Well, it looked like the penalty was going to be called, and then it got sold even more so. So that's a hooky call that he doesn't really like. Power play unit going back to work. Well, you can tell these guys must be bubbling with confidence here, James, because they've already scored on the power play tonight. And so they get another chance. They must feel good they have the formula tonight. Gets in front of it. Smothered that in close chance. No Deeks offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Glove save! Quick reflexes. Quebec's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Flips it up to that. That goes wide. Hamilton's penalty killers get a hold of it. Gets it out of his own end. Quebec's gained possession along the boards. Takes it across the blue line. Trying to clear. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. No Deeks got it in their own zone. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way. A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get down. Big opportunity coming up with a five-on-three man advantage. Well, here's a key point in the game, a five-on-three power play. You don't get too many of these. You really want to cash in. And manages to clear the zone. Quebec's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Hamilton's got the puck here in the open ice. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. With possession along the wall. Moves it to Mitchell. Misses. It was right there, Ray. Oh, it's such a great chance, and he doesn't get the shot on net. No deeks. Got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come on the attack. Puts it on net. Puts it just wide. He's looking to put that just inside the post. Just misses. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Quebec's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Johnson's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And manages to clear the zone. Quebec's got it from behind the net. Colomatis moves the puck. And a solid effort by the penalty killers as we are back to even strength. Turns it away. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Oh, what a save with a glove! Along the wing up the neutral zone. 
scrum along the boards. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Receives the pass. Takes the feet at the back end. Takes the pass. 57 seconds left. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. And makes the save. No deeks. Got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Up along the wing. Along the half wall with the puck. Centering pass! And they can't connect. Directed over to Jacobs. Jacobs moves it into the attacking end. Puts it to the front of the net. And that one's broken up. The Tigers gain control of it. Through center along the wing. Moves right to the middle, takes a shot, misses the net. You're going to go back and kick yourself for that one because he wants that on the net. He doesn't miss it by much. Hammers a shot, and he says no. It is all over. Ray, you look at the numbers, and in this case, the numbers don't lie. The better team won this one. Uh, this is one easily you can marry your eye test to the numbers test and say, yeah, they both work. That team deserved to win. So the analytics crew and the, and, the, and the hockey crew could actually see eye to eye on this they one. They could actually get along. And that'll do it for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.